It is a busy news day here in Western New York, and we begin tonight at 6 with the charges unveiled against a Western New York man who was inside the Capitol when a violent and deadly rampage occurred there last week. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again, I'm Scott Levin. Channel 2's Dave McKinley looked into uh, it during the first court appearance for Peter Harding, who the FBI took into custody yesterday. During today's court session, we learned that when agents came to Harding's Cheektowaga home early Wednesday morning to arrest him, he wasn't there, having left the night before to stay with a friend in the Buffalo area. He was arrested, according to sources, later yesterday afternoon and held in the Niagara County Jail pending today's proceeding there. He appeared on camera wearing blue jail fatigue similar to those in this booking photo. Harding was among thousands of demonstrators at the Capitol last week when Congress was certifying the results of the presidential election, some of whom crashed through the doors and went on a violent rampage that resulted in injuries and deaths. Harding, seen in a photo on an FBI poster taken inside the Capitol, is charged with two misdemeanor counts, one for unlawfully entering and remaining in restricted parts of the building with the intent to disrupt government business is also charged with engaging in disorderly conduct while on Capitol grounds. During a virtual hearing this afternoon, though, Harding's lawyers noted that there is no allegation that he actually engaged in any violent conduct once he was unlawfully inside the Capitol. They argued that because of that and because Harding, seen here in a Channel 2 interview last week, never tried to flee the jurisdiction and because he's been cooperative with authorities, post no risk of flight, no danger to the community, and therefore should be released from custody. The judge agreed, but did set conditions on Harding's release, including that he be subject to electronic monitoring, not only of his person, but also of his internet use. He also can't travel outside of Western New York unless it's to Washington, D.C. That's where the complaint against him was filed, and that is where, for now, further court proceedings against him will be held. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.